Well, I've been up here hiking, actually just descending down into the valley now after spending some time watching goats. Just started really thinking about, you know, some of the challenges that, that we face as hunters and, you know, finding the right partner to hunt with and how to go about that. It's, you know, it's so important that we, we teach new people how to hunt, whether that's your family or your friends, and just to, to really introduce more people to the sport. And, you know, for me in the mountains and the mountain environment and hunting in it, these add a particular challenge that maybe, you know, if you're whitetail hunting or something that you don't encounter, and that's really finding a great partner that is compatible to your hunting style um, and to your, the level of seriousness that you take to the mountains. So, you know, one of the, the big things for me is that, you know, when I'm looking for a new hunting partner or it's really a mindset of personal compatibility and doing a lot of the homework beforehand with that person just to sit down and you know discuss what your goals are what amount of physical activity you want to do and really just suss each other out to figure out how your compatibility is going to work in the mountains because it's all easy to you know to think yeah you know i'd like to do a 20 mile hike or a, a five mile hike backpack in and that's not a problem and but when you actually get boots on the ground and you know get that heavy pack on your back and start the miles things change real quick so you know it's first it's at home sitting down and really talking about what the goals of the team would be and how to go about executing those goals. And then once you get into the mountains, really it's just being honest with yourself and being honest with your teammates as to how you're feeling, how things are going, and really good open communication. And if you know the everything is aligned, then you can have the ability to keep pushing. And if the wheels start to fall off the wagon, that's when you know you have to adjust and kind of understand where the limitations of your team are and then regroup and figure out how to go, you know, how to go about still achieving the goal, um, but maybe modifying the plan if that's needed. So it's it's a really tough it's a tough thing to do in the mountains is finding good compatible teammates that are open and honest and you know are willing to communicate with how they feel and when you do get that level of communication and the same interest then i think that you can really take that and really move forward with it so For us, we've spent, to this point, we've spent so much time in the mountains that we almost don't even have to communicate. We know how the other people are feeling. We know when somebody's hungry. We know when somebody's, you know, getting low. And our team really works together to make sure that we're taking care of each other. And sometimes that might, you know, be as little as somebody pulling out, a, you know, a couple smarties out of their backpack and just sharing them or somebody shoveling uh, rebar down somebody else's throat because they know that they're getting low and say you know just eat this um, it's just being really in touch with each other and I think that that's our secret is that we just spend so much time in the mountains together and all of us are focused on the same goal which is having a great hunt, capturing it on film, 
and just enjoying our time out there together. And it's not always enjoyable. Like there are like many days where it's just miserable and you have to mentally dominate yourself to know that this is, this is the, the enjoyment. This is when you look back in retrospect, right now in the moment, it might not be awesome, but it's those moments that aren't awesome when you look back on them and say, I still moved forward when I didn't want to. When the, you know, somebody on the team was hurting, I helped out to get them through. Or when I'm hurting, somebody helps me out to get through. And that's a cohesive unit in these mountains. And if you can find that type of partner or build that type of relationship and partnership together, man, that's where the gold is. So, it's just a matter of really communicating, understanding what your goals are, and moving forward toward those goals with the right partners. And when you can do that, yeah, it's, uh, it makes for a way more enjoyable hunt and an enjoyable time in the mountains. And typically, the goals get achieved. One of the things that I do is I really look at myself and look at what I'm doing, who I am, and how can I be a better teammate in the mountains? How can I do more to help my teammates? And it's really important to take a step back and not always look for, you know, how can I find somebody that's going to be, you know, help me, but really, how can I help move things along that makes everything more enjoyable? And if you can do both of those things, I think that it's very powerful when it comes to the, you know, when things aren't going great. And you can step back and go, okay, how can I help Carl? How can I help Dave right now? How can I be better? And that's very important. And I know that, you know, both Carl and Dave do that as well. So it's, it's very much communication and being able to look at yourself. And once you can look at yourself, it's really easy to make the steps to help more and just to move the team further and faster, stronger. The things about when we look at ourselves and we really just try to help move the team along, you know, and somebody's at a low point in the day or in the hunt and there's some negativity creeping in. Typically the whole team is never negative at the same time. So it's, somebody can always step in, recognize this, that there's a, you know, there's a small chink in the armor here. What do we need, what do I need to do to correct that and whether it's crack a joke or whether it's get a piece of food whether it's you know just just smile at somebody when when things are going tough it's a game changer like I often when when things are the worst I start to laugh because it's just like this is why we're here and it's the unknown of what we're going to get into or what we're into right now and sure, it's not much fun, but if you can take a moment and you can laugh, it just changes the whole dynamic of the situation. And before you know it, the worst situations that we're in in the whole season and everybody's smiling. And when you have teammates that can feed off each other like that, um, it's, just, it's just a recipe for greatness. And we are very fortunate to have that team.